Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Place 13 Sentinels. Today we're finally going back to Goto. Oh. Hmm. He's taking off his glasses. That means he's serious and completely blind. I should just call you Runya because I keep messing up your name. It would appear I can no longer rely on Shikishima. Police records. Miss Morimura. Why did you have to die? Miss Morimura's death has left the Shikishima execs in disarray. Now they won't let me spearhead the Sentinel Project. As if I'm just a child. Well, I mean... I doubt my opinion will weigh much in their discussions. You are. <laughs> you are a child. I mean... You might be smarter than your average, you know, bear. But, you know, still in high school. Is this how you run? Hail a taxi. Give him a high five. Oh man, that would have been hilarious. Get in. I am a park, please. Big dude, just like here you go. Whoopsh. High five. Hello, murderer. We don't know that. I checked the corpse at the police station. It was yours, Miss Morimura. There's no doubt about it. Is that so? You don't seem too shocked about it. Oh yeah, she's death. the one that did it. Well, it didn't exactly stop me. Here I am, safe and sound. I suppose that's true. Operation uh, oh, okay. So, what did the police say? Uh, report. The cause of death was a gunshot to the abdominal area. No bullet was found in the body. Though it's easy to imagine why. The murder weapon was likely from beyond this time. Beyond material bullets. Estimated time of death is approximately 1900 hours. You were witnessed running off somewhere with a short-haired student. According to a pedestrian's eyewitness account, anyway. They found a witness. This era's police really did their due diligence. Uh, witness statement. An I saw a of taller Morimura, shooter. Described as a short-haired male in a student uniform. Most likely A. Sekigahara. Uh, hi? There should have been that drone tracking her movement. So, anything helpful in its footage? The timing couldn't have been worse. It looks like it was monitoring the government's movement at the time. So she wasn't even under surveillance. I see. So like you had more Any drones. To our primary suspect? A Sekigahara. The witness statement matches the description of A Sekigahara. It did seem like something was wrong with A Sekigahara's memories. I wouldn't be surprised if he was our murderer. Though it raises the question of why he'd bother to lure her out. Surely a murderer's optimal scenario is to avoid being spotted at all. Well, maybe it wasn't premeditated. He could have killed her by accident. Well, like dropped his gun? Well, he certainly is the type to brood over things. I can say he's not enough of an idiot to shoot someone on impulse. I don't think shooting someone on impulse is an accident. <laughs> Who else don't think could it, it be? I don't think it counts as an accident. That man with that call sign? Some numerical name. Logically speaking, he would naturally be another potential suspect. Uh, four to six. He did attempt to eradicate all the compatibles. Well, he's a dangerous one of the individual, loops. and he's still at large. All that's left of four two six is his consciousness. I don't think I could reliably predict his behavior. He's desperate enough to do anything. Oh, uh, four two six. Four two six certainly isn't above killing. If Edison were here. I'm sure he'd declare 426 our primary suspect. We know he killed at least four people. That's why I shot him dead in the end. Uh, if four he victims. resurrected himself as an android, maybe. That would give him a chance at revenge. As a motive, it sounds pretty clear cut. Uh, four victims, consider. Aside from Miss Morimura and Ida-san, 
Four others came here for refuge 16 years ago. By the time I'd started assisting Miss Morimura's efforts, they'd already lost their physical bodies. Fortunately, we were able to use the data stored in Sector Zero. This allowed us to meld their replicated consciousness with AI. As for how they lost their bodies in the first place, reportedly 426 is doing. He destroyed them all yeah, in one fell swoop. He busted caps and all their asses. To Ida-san's account, anyway. But if number 16 is to be believed, that's not what really happened. And Miss Morimura should be aware of that. Wait, what? I spoke with the pilot of Sentinel number 16. Back then, she gave Miss Morimura something nobody else would. The truth. Uh, recall, yeah. Wait, what do you mean? Could you go over that again? Uh... Our defensive maneuvers failed. So we decided to stick to the plan. We all headed to the gate to escape. But there was an explosion while we were shifting. <sighs> From what I can tell, the Type 98 we were shifting in got attacked. But that's the last thing I remember. After that, nothing. But that means... Is that how your data was damaged? It wasn't some plot by 426 after all? Just... An explosion? An explo- Okay, I thought you, thought you guys were talking about, like, when he shot them all on that bridge for a second. I thought it was just that you didn't get converted in time, but... You were... You were all dead before the shift even happened. Yeah, no, that's Ethan, definitely a different time. You said he killed the four of them. I know you did. You said he sabotaged them, killed them. Given the chance, he certainly would have. You lied to me? He already tried to kill us all in the past. You I mean, I, I, he did kill them when alive. he shot him, right? Or, like, Killing I know Ida lived. the right call. But I thought they said everyone else died. Or maybe he didn't get a chance to finish it off. Because he didn't hunch over, right? He shot them. He's like, oh, oh pain will only last a minute. And then Chihiro shot him in the back. Also, E is a piece of shit. Hi. Um, the four victims. I'd like to revisit something you just mentioned. About 426 killing at least four individuals. Do you really not remember? Remember what? So the memory you transplant were complete? I presume. I gathered quite a lot of material in the past. Most of it is rather outdated. Including Ida-san's statement concerning those victims. In other words, your answer is objectively incorrect. Really? Well, can you blame me? Look at this body I'm stuck with. I'm bound to have some memories confused. Right, um, 426. Miss Morimura, I have one more question. What is it? Regarding 426, would you say you had any particular feelings toward him? Feelings? Well, he was certainly a good friend. Ooh, I felt like he really no, you guys were like involved, weren't you? Well, used to, anyway. Where's this coming from? Are you gonna that? soccer kick her? doesn't make sense. According to number 18, or should I say, Tamao-san. Uh, Tamao's statement. I had a hunch about Miss Morimura's feelings, and my discussion with Tamao-san only confirmed my suspicions. Recall. Yeah, they were definitely, uh, definitely involved. Pretty sure they said they loved each other at one point. Um, I could be projecting, I guess, but at the same time, I'm pretty sure Gotokun. they were not just friends. I'm sorry for this. I know it's sudden. I need to talk to you. So the memories she got Did definitely were happen? not complete then. Or maybe there's something else going on. She's been transplanting 426's memories onto Jurokun. I only just found out. 426? As in the escaped android? No, not that one. She's using the memory data of the man himself. 
It was saved during the shift. In other words, she's trying to use Juro to create another 426? I did my best to talk her down. She's letting me handle Juokun's treatment now. Still, I don't think she's given up on this. Well, she's an Why asshole. Why is she trying to bring back 426? Well, that seems to be a common occurrence in this I've game. I've been giving her <laughs> some advice about it. And I understand where she's coming from, but... Uh, Mori Morrison is in love with him. <sighs> with 426? Maybe she always has been. That's why she wants him back as a human. But she has to know the risks. He's a dangerous man. Yeah, well, look at Iori. True, but that's not exactly what she's remembering. Besides, she's the one who killed him. That guilt is still eating at her. <sighs> Watch over Mori Morrison. And try to keep her away from Juro-kun if you can. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. I can barely take the idea of one four two six, let alone two. By the way, I'm an android. Hi, you can call me Erica now. Where are we going? So I was right. Miss Morimura did have feelings for someone. Oh wait, did you did you have feelings for more and more? I mean, that suit is pretty great. Uh, to my statement. When Juro Izumi lost his memories, you aimed to use him to revive 426. Make one a vessel for the other. <laughs> one reason seems most likely. You harbored romantic feelings for him. Me? <laughs> With him? You're joking. Maybe he's a That's different Shahiro. Mori was mind hacked, remember? You said so yourself. Uh, memory manipulation. If you recall, I suggested that Miss Morimura was mind hacked. That idea was based on a certain piece of evidence I found. One particular log. Captain's what log. log. If you really are Miss Morimura, then you should already know. Two years before you were born. Ida-san extracted some information from 426 that in turn led to the discovery of the data log in question. Future log. As for the log itself, it contains footage from the year 2188. It was found buried in the mainframe data during the analysis of 426. <sighs> you seem very disturbed by me seeing that file. So much so, in fact that you ended up deleting all of your logs. Would you mind telling me why you did that? Maybe she's the original Chihiro, and not like... I don't remember. ...these worlds Chihiro. Well, at the very least, its contents suggested a connection to 426. Or even that he had been manipulating Miss Morimura. The log contained a very interesting report. Apparently, Juro Izumi downloaded memories onto Chihiro Morimura's clone. Uh, report log. Consider. Recall! Now, you have a lot of flashbacks. <laughs> this is Tetsuya Ida. Don't know why I'm recording this. You look like I'm Renya. Going to hear it. Still, might as well. Not like I had anywhere else to share this. I was in the middle of a routine bug regression test. And I noticed part of the final phase had been altered. The change was made in Chihiro Morimura's host. The setting change looks like it'll trigger a memory overwrite. I don't know anything about the memory's contents, but it says the modifying user was Juro Izumi. Because someone thought it'd be a great idea to give that guy senior admin ID. And probably a horrible decision in hindsight, point, right? Well, what the hell can we do about it? Delete it? At least now I have proof. You're all hypocrites anyway. Yes, including you, jackass. Hey! So who even cares anymore? None of this matters. We're all dead anyway. That's the spirit. <sighs> that 
did he did say he was Ida, right? The log inconveniently revealed one of your secrets. One you were desperate to keep me away from. So you deleted it. That's my theory anyway. I 426 was the one who overwrote my memories? So what does that mean? What are you trying to say? Your Morimura and I are both 426? Oh, oh, Jesus Christ, I didn't even fucking consider that one. Uh, compatibility. Remember where this all began? It was the compatibility experiment, the one that produced you. Based off Miss Morimura's footage and your own admissions, I've completely misjudged the situation. All this time, I believed you were her. But even from the very beginning, you've been your own person. Yes, that's how it works. So, what are you saying? I'm not Chihiro Morimura? Well, I mean, that's your name, kind of. Well, actually, your name's like Chihiro Katara, right? Oh, Mira. Chihiro Mira? Something like that. If I'm not a duplicate of Chihiro Morimura... Then why did then I kill her? Who exactly do you think I am? You are Chihiro Morimura. <laughs> well, there you have it. No, not Miss Morimura, the teacher. Professor Chihiro Morimura. The original. The one from the year 2188. Ah. I'm assuming that's the, the original. the figure of Shikishima's interstellar development project. I'm gonna get the end of the game and be like, oh, that was actually the past. Like, oh, okay. To be continued. Uh, well, back we go. Aegis activation confirmed. Oh, we're here already. Wait, what? The terminal is completely sealed off. We did it. They've changed targets. The next terminal is just over there. They're already on the move. Can't even let us catch our breath, huh? No. I haven't hit my operating limit yet. But I'm going to dismount. Guys. Whoa, hey, then who's taking point? Pull it together. Yeah. We don't need orders. To so like I know clothes end. aren't like allowed in that thing. But like why why is the exception made for like glasses and hair accessories, right? Like, is it specifically programmed to dissolve all your clothes when you get in and then like restructure it when you get out? But like leave your glasses and Hair accessories in, because like Yuri has her hair flowers, right? And like um, she has yet. her ribbon. I'm back in the fight. I won't be long. It's up to you. Fine then. Let's. I don't know. They need glasses. Obviously, it would be a very bad for them. They didn't have their glasses, but still. I mean, they feel like it'd be set up that they wouldn't need their glasses. Chihiro son. Mm. Look at that sunset. Just like it was back then. It's beautiful. Uh, I mean, it's alright. I'm guessing you were monitoring me with a drone? I have one locked on to you, yes. Their targets changed. They're coming back this way. It's dangerous here. We need to get you to safety. Aw, don't tell me you're worried about You're me. four, and a murderer, how so no. How mind your own business? You already know how I feel. This is what I wanted. Still. More importantly, can you really afford to waste your time here? I mean, he's doing it. Or have you already given up? The invasion is still in its preliminary phase. I've got time. First, I need to get you somewhere safe. There are no safe places left. <sighs> At least, none left for us. We're not safe anywhere. But you know that well enough. You're just losing precious time. Go focus on the job you're supposed to be doing. <sighs> Understood. I'll go. You'll find it safer towards the river. If, hypothetically, you wanted to know. All right, bye. Wait. As long as we're both here, there's something I want to clear up. So, 
Tell me. You were in love with Miss Morimura, weren't you? <sighs> you said she was mind hacked. But it was more about you being jealous, wasn't it? Yeah, it seems to be a theme in this game too, some places. That's hardly. This may be our last chance to talk. Answer me. <sighs> you are correct. Is that what you wanted to hear? That I was driven by some cheap, naive impulse? Hey, it's just human, dog. That I... That I can't think about anything else? And that's why you brought back my memory, too. Isn't it? Yeah, but she ended up killing the one you loved, apparently. You never cared how you managed to do it. You just wanted her back. So much. I'm glad. You really were a slave to your desires. <laughs> That's the Renya Goto I remember. It means... I don't have to like you after all. <laughs> Thank you. I think that's all I wanted to hear. Professor, I... You should go. After all, we still have our bet. Although it looks like I'm about to win it. Uh, activate Sentinel. Wait, is this your final? No, you're only at twenty-eight percent. Yeah, that's a that's an easier place to activate your Sentinel. You don't have to lift up clothes. You don't have to like do anything weird. Still got to strike a pose though. It's not your final, right? You were at like twenty-eight percent there. Miwa. What's wrong? Did you get separated from your mommy? Like I am my mommy. <sighs> Could you leave me alone? <laughs> it's dangerous out here. Just come with me, okay? Will you just pick her up, Miwa? What are you? <sighs> or just stand there and get crushed, I guess. Well, at least it walked me like next to you, not on you. Were you on a bus? Wait a minute. You tell me you mentioned something about you Don't being worry. on a bus? If you can't find your mommy, I can help you look. We just have to run away right now, okay? <sighs> oh, there you are, Miwa Go. Hosami chan! I'm so glad you're okay. Jeez, you're so reckless. You shouldn't have come this way. Kisaragi, that girl is. I know already. Uh, I'll get back to the battle once. Oh, Miwa can't see that. Is someone yeah. <laughs> here? Uh, of course not. Uh, never mind. The evacuation route's that way. Can I bring her too? Hey. Yeah. That's fine. Mira wants you to up. bring her. That's fine. <sighs> To be continued. Okay, so that wasn't the final battle. That was definitely like... That was a lot of percentage for such a short one compared to your first one, but... Yeah. That definitely felt like more of a to the final battle than anything else. But yeah, let's head back. Flashback. Hi. Strange. I know this is my first time here, but this suddenly makes me feel so... nostalgic. Sunsets will do that, I find, regardless of time period. Yes, but... this must be... well, I suppose it must be one of those places. So? Where am I going? Well, you don't have your rabbit now, so we haven't seen Katara. I rented an apartment under a false name. Can't be any worse than our last accommodations. As long as it's not rubble, I'll take it. My apologies. If it's any comfort, I'm certain nobody will find you there. Not Shikishima, and certainly not Miss Morimura. I suppose we have Ida-san to thank for all this. The funds and paperwork he prepared were invaluable. Tetsuya Ida. And he's still missing, is he? Oh, he did. Yes. Twice over. Still probably alive, but dead. Let's go. Or she can't walk? 
Or does she just like being carried? I mean, relatable. Chihiro san. <sighs> you think I'm the professor? That is what I said. You were Professor Chihiro Morimura, a major figure in Shikishima in the year 2188, namely the leader of its space initiative. What are you even talking about? Just some hypotheticals. A possible interpretation of the evidence I found. Okay, say I am the professor. Remember, Miss Morimura is the one who created me. You think that was her plan? She wanted a host for the professor and not herself? Maybe? How would that make sense? Uh, da 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 da. Compatibility. Miss Morimura ran an experiment to grant her clone compatibility. She believed that you were synchronized to her. <sighs> she believed it was her own data she transmitted. But it was the other Chihiro Morimura in Sector Zero. Mm, so she just made a mistake. Of course, you entered the world as a newborn, incapable of verbal communication. So Miss Morimura never realized her mistake. This is all speculation. Certainly, yes. But if I'm right, and you are the professor, I imagine you were in quite a panic yourself. All things considered, it was a staggering deviation from the original plan. What original plan? Oh. But if I'm right. Uh, Operation E, no, report log? Among the logs from 2188, one of Tetsuya Ida's noted that he'd found an anomaly. Chihiro Morimura was set to undergo a memory transplant in the final phase. And the final phase, well, that would be us. Uh, another one? Future log? The log from the future I saw first. That would be the comms log I found with my own ID. Uh, comms log. Go to log. Go to log. log. Check held some surprises. The author seemed to be an elderly Renya Goto. And the date of recording appeared to be 2188. You also ordered your assassination. It was some future version of myself. One that had time traveled into the far future. But now, I don't think that's the case. I believe it's the other way around. In other words, I myself am a clone of him. Clone. Thought bubble. Chihiro. Every individual I saw in that log footage, they all created clones of themselves. Clones? Huh? I did find a log that proves this point. What did you see? A comms log between you and Professor Takamiya. Her field is genetic engineering, I note. Uh, Takamiya's log. Recall. Professor Takamiya. How are the projections on those self-replicating probes? The simulations look good. Especially the survey range. We never expected a rate of expansion that She looks so high. fancy, Yuki. It was definitely <laughs> the right call to prioritize its strength as a group over individual units. These probes are pretty much living machines now. Well, that never goes good. They self-replicate using natural resources mined from asteroids and their routing. They'll just keep building up and breaking down. And then eventually take over. An infinite cycle of self-replication on its way to its target. Have you ever seen Terminator? There's basically zero chance of the tech failing midway through. They'll just keep on going. Probably long after humanity's gone. Glad I came to an expert then. All that's left is the refinement of the memory cube. The infrastructural storage cell, right? The cube's made up of five identical memory layers. In theory, it'll compare itself to nearby probes and use them as a template for repairs. And if it can't be repaired, well... Fine. One probe down. We've got thousands more. And our passengers? 
I'll be loading them up with the DNA of all the survivors. I've already got samples and data from all 15. Now it's just down to launching them. These clones will go with all our hopes on their shoulders. By the way, what do we do about him? Ooh. Him who? I mean, after that DNA test. <sighs> we do nothing. Juro? He doesn't have to know. What could I even say to him? Renya? Not much, I guess. Uh, clone. There were 15 survivors of that colony, each with a clone established to be compatible. Though they grew up in different eras, different worlds. And you. It still blows my mind they made a, a world in the era of World War II. Of your own. That was your real plan. <sighs> right now, I imagine your biggest question is precisely how much of that log I've seen. Am I close? Are you gonna pull a gun on me? You do have a genius mind, but also the form of a child. I imagine it's harder than usual to hide your agitation. <laughs> it's absolutely not. <laughs> now you're just trying to trick me? Uh, Takamiya log. I'd say based on that log, Professors Takamiya and Morimura seem to know each other quite well. Maybe you'd know something about that. Of course not. Then perhaps instead, Sukasa Okino. <sighs> Being compatible, that makes one part of his identity clear. He's one of the fifteen from the year twenty-one eighty-eight. So, any theories? Who was he in the year 2188? It's someone who put a video game? <laughs> Used the code of a video game to cause all this? Care to guess? Stop it. No? Then allow me to clarify. That boy, Sukasa Okino, is Professor Chihiro Morimura's son. But not her child by personal conventional birth. Mm. The professor donated her egg cells as a young woman. Oh, I thought you were going to say you try to clone with the policies herself. on population control. Uh, clone. Their blood relation wasn't exactly obvious until DNA testing on the clone revealed it. The professor was faced with the truth. He was her son. Which naturally sparked an inconvenient surge. I was going to say, it's kind of... A nice touch with her petting the rabbit there. However, Okino himself didn't think highly of the professor. He had his disagreements with the project staff, too. When it seemed like her end was near, the professor recorded him one final message. One last chance for him to know the truth. Stop! Uh, yeah? You saw that? But how? You'd need a biometric ID match to access that log. Then you have yours? So you should only have been able to access your own. My logs and Okinos should have been locked off. Thank you, Professor Morimura. Uh, oh, was he just tricking you? He was just tricking you. Where are you going? Hi. I got longer legs so I can outrun you. Indeed. The files I could access were somewhat limited. Mostly company logs. Meeting reports, call transcripts, bureaucratic chaff. Barely anything in the way of your personal records. <sighs> then, how do you know what was in my logs? It's simple, really. I guessed. Or, to the final battle. Or not, probably no flashback, yeah. That should do it for preparations. Now, let's see if the biometric authentication works. You run funny. Start authorization. Did it go through? Maybe. 
I'm assuming yes, given what you just said. Looks like that got me past the initial barrier, at least. Now, with Miss Murimura's ID, I should be able to get into her logs. No? Over here? Oh, lovely. <laughs> Hi. Maybe if I check Miss Murimura's <laughs> logs... That makes sense, too. I might find a clue why your biometric ID matches hers. Uh, really? You need a clue for that? She proved very helpful. Kind of rude. She is Chihiro Morimura, a compatible version. If you really are Miss Morimura, then you should already know who Iori Fuyasaka is. Because that would mean you hid her here in Sector 4. The plan was for the two newborns to grow up with their own separate lives. Ida-san's idea, presumably. Chihiro Morimura was planned to be placed in 2104, and Tetsuya Ida in 2024, yet neither could be found. <sighs> I knew Renya Goto of Shikishima pretty well. You and he are very different. Except that you both make my life a lot <laughs> So, suppose I am the professor. Then what? I want to know the truth. I want to know the reasons behind all of this. But that seems unlikely. I imagine you're not inclined to tell me anything. You can start with one that. fingernail. It'd be inconvenient for you if we had all the facts. Considering you're trying to eliminate us. <sighs> From the very beginning, you never intended for this world to survive. I feel like she deserves a super kick for that, dog. To be continued. I guess it will be. Uh, 50%. All right. Uh... Third area... Wait, what? Oh, do I need to... Do this stuff? Okay. I thought, you know what? I actually thought that was just going to be like one giant battle. But I guess we'll go to Taka. Never mind. I guess we'll do some battles next time. Thank you for watching. I will see you all then. Have a actually, yeah, I totally thought like that was just going to be one gigantic battle. But I guess it makes sense. Only 71%. But yeah, I will see you all next time. Bye.